Does Quix system paint repair pen work? Does Quix paint pen work? We're going to find out. How you doing? I'm Ryan for Silly Reviews. This repair pen is for you to fix or at least mask scratches, chips, things like that. Claims on the packaging say fills clear coat scratches, makes them virtually invisible, seals deep scratches in stone chips, prevents rust and paint blister. It's suitable for all colors. It's got these little pictures and it shows you untreated. Your scratch will get worse. It will get all rusty, but when it's sealed, you can barely see it. So that's what we're looking for. I have a bunch of chips on the front of my car, on the hood. They kind of look ugly. They get rust on them. We're going to clean those off. Then we're going to try the Quix paint repair pen. We're going to see what happens on the back. We go ahead and boot bap it. It's got some more claims. It's going to fill and seal troublesome scratches and stone chips not readily, readily removed with special polishing compounds, blah, 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 safe for all paints, all this stuff. It says the instructions are inside. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open. We're gonna see what the instructions say, how complicated or not complicated the Quix paint pen is. So let's go ahead and open it up. The instructions are on the back side of the artwork that they put around the packaging. Let's see how difficult or not difficult this is. Is this easy? Is the Quick pen easy? Like one of my exes? Anyway, use soap and water to thoroughly clean the area. Shake the pen vigorously for approximately 30 seconds. So this is kind of like an, a, a paint can of spray paint. You can hear in there, it's got a little bearing or something to break up and mix the paint. So after you shake it for 30 seconds, you're gonna remove the cap and with the tip facing upwards, ventilate the pen by pressing on the felt tip one time. So you're gonna have it standing up, you're gonna have the tip pointing at the sky, then you're gonna push down to ventilate one time. Turn pen over and press the tip down on a piece of paper up to 20 times until the clear coat flows to the felt tip. Place the point on one end of the scratch and carefully guide along the opposite end. If additional coats are needed, repeat the application process after 30 minutes of drying time. Firmly replace the cap to protect the pen from drying out. And if desired, the Quix paint scratch remover can be used to further smooth and repair after a minimum of 48 hours drying time. So I like how step eight is an upsell to buy another one of their products. Uh, for best results, just like when you're spray painting something or painting anything, you wanna apply thin layers, careful to avoid the clear coat outside of the confines of the scratch in order to prevent excess and dripping. Blah, 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 blah. Do not apply the nail polish. Wait a minute, what? Acetone based nail polish. Oh, acetone based nail polish. In case you over, you get the stuff all over the car on accident. Okay, whatever. I think that was pretty self explanatory anyway. We're going to go ahead over to the car. I'm going to show you the chips. We're going to try to fill one in and do a before and after comparison. So after I use this, we're going to have to wait, I guess, for 30 minutes. So let's walk over there. Oh, yeah. First thing you want to do is shake it up for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna vent it, and then I'm gonna press down 20 times, like it says, until this stuff starts to flow. So I'm gonna let you just hang on with me as I shake this for 30 seconds. And 30 seconds is usually all it takes me when I'm shaking it. Well, here we go. We're about halfway there. This is fun. This video is gonna be shaky. I'm gonna try to use my D Shake app to make this not so shaky so you don't get nauseous here. Okay, we're right at about 30 seconds. Sounds good. I'm going to pop the top. Boop bop. Press down to vent. And now we're going to press down 20 times to get this stuff flowing to the tip. How will I know if it's flowing to the tip? You know, I have no idea. Okay, I see some coming. No, I don't. I thought I saw it coming out. All right, I don't know how many times I've pressed it. I guess I'm going to have to touch it. No, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. It's coming out now. So we should be good to go. I already cleaned off the little chips on my hood. So we're gonna take a walk over there. We're gonna walk over here together. And this is really fun, and this is more shaky. So here's the car, this is our test, test subject. It's uh, my 06 Jetta, it's been around the block. And you can see these chips, it's really not fun. We're gonna pick one of the big boys, and uh, we're gonna get one of the bigger ones at the bottom here. 
and we're gonna see if this does as it claims so I'm gonna apply it and then I'm gonna wait 30 minutes and then I'll come back with you guys so I'm gonna it's got like a flat chisel tip so I feel like that should be more angled but here we go I'm gonna just press in here all right I guess that's it and I kind of got some on the outside of it but I don't really care at this point I you know I don't see any way possible that this is gonna make this seem virtually you know disappearing or virtually you know you can't see it it doesn't really make sense does it we're gonna give it 30 seconds I mean 30 minutes and I guess some magic is gonna happen but I am NOT at all optimistic do you think this stuff's gonna work I've got so many of these things and, and at least the lady at AutoZone said I kind of talked to her talked to her talked to her and I know who it is who said I could return it and get my money back so let's find out okay so we've given the quick pen the paint repair pen way more than 30 minutes and let's see if it's virtually invisible look it's you know, don't forget it said makes them virtually invisible deep scratches and stone chips well here's the one and you guys let me know is that is that virtually invisible is, is that one virtually in, invisible the one right in the middle and you can see I did get a little extra pen on there no I don't think so what I recommend buying the quicks pen the quick system paint repair pen absolutely not I feel like I wasted $13 I had hopes <laughs> and I had dreams <laughs> Of getting all these chips looking virtually invisible and not only am I out of money I'm out of optimism and hope I'm Ryan silly reviews <sighs> thanks for watching now you can send me something to review I've got a PO box just for you send me anything Wacky flavored sodas, awesome beads, super hot hot sauce, a burrito blanket, pictures of your wife. I'll review whatever you send me and give you a shout out. Mail me something from your house or send it from your favorite website. Include a note for me to read and I'll read it.